welcome to Gen 310. Here, uh, Yvette Breifogel here out in Parker, Colorado here in the States. And uh, welcome everyone, whether you're watching us live or recorded. We are um, going to share here on a pretty cool topic uh, with my two lovely panelists, Becky Bias and Jamie Sanders, who um, will be sharing their insights and just um, personal experiences with, you know, based on this topic of taking personal and financial responsibility. And in case you're watching this for the very first time and you're asking yourself, what is Gen 310? Well, we are a private empowerment and wealth creation club and we come and do these handouts, um, trying to do them at least twice a week right now as we move along um, with rolling out this this club, uh, there may be a point where we're actually having these um, six nights a week. So stay tuned. And uh, with this whole Gen 310 thing, we do actually have a visionary who uh, launched this back late April of this year, and he will probably be joining us here, hopefully here in the next few days. Um, he's kind of taken a leave um, dealing with some stuff so we really look forward to having him on here again. Um, but for now we, um, uh, myself and Becky and Jamie have kind of been holding up the, whole, the, the fort here with coming on and just um, speaking on different topics. And I'll tell you right now what it's done for me really is just um, giving me that financial empowerment and really just giving me accountability by plugging into these, um, taking that personal responsibility and holding to my commitment of keeping these handouts going, but it's keeping me plugged into the books, the books that we recommend to all our members and really anybody listening, tuning into these um, as far as being financially empowered. And so the book that is the basis um, for our club, for Gen 310, in case you haven't read this, is The Richest Man in Babylon by George S. Clayson. And so a lot of the stuff that we'll share on these handouts um, will actually come out of this um, and really just speaking on those principles. So I'm going to go ahead and get this kicked off and I'm going to turn it over to, to Miss Becky Bias, who's actually out here in Colorado with me, and uh, this was her topic, so I know that she's got some really good things to share with us. So take it away, Becky. Thank you. Thanks, Yvette. Um, so responsibility, um, taking responsibility and finance and personal responsibility, um, I, there's just so much you can do. Everything we do, everything about life is responsible, and I've been dealing with an issue um, this week about personal responsibility and having to try to explain to um, my children that um, life is a is all about responsibility and it's choices and you can make you know when you make choices there's going to be a consequence that consequence is either positive or negative so if you don't like the consequence or you don't like the result of what your choice is then you need to go back and think about it and make a different choice and so if you don't like those consequences because based on your choices then you need to um, you need to think about those change those choices you're making and try to change that will change the consequences or change the actions coming from that and along with that I was kind of looking at some stuff going on and um, I get paid monthly which is there's pros and cons to that so I can tell you that when you have a long month Man, you know, payday's not until next Monday. I have to get through another whole weekend. So I'm like sitting there going, wow, you know, um, it's really tight. But at the same time, it helps with budgeting. And um, that goes back to, as Yvette talked about, um, the richest man in Babylon and looking at the seven cures for a lean purse and the five laws of gold. And everything talks about putting money away and controlling your expenses and. Um, you know, doing all of that, and I've talked before about a budget program I use, and so in doing that, 
it's about responsibility and defining these budgets and sticking to them and it seems like every time we turn around something else comes up you know my son comes in and goes mom I just put in my last set of contacts I need contacts now I have to come up with money to to go get contacts and so I started thinking about that and looking through and going you know there's probably some purchases that I did that I didn't necessarily need to do that I should have you know thought about and I thought about that too coming down to the end of the month and only having a few dollars left to get by on and you know just hoping some emergency doesn't happen or um, you know I I'm thinking I can get my my gas through till the end of the month till at least payday and in thinking about that I was like you know I need to take responsibility for my own finances I need to control my expenditures I need to set that you know at least 10 percent aside I'm trying for more but I need to make sure that I'm doing that and not touching it and then um, making sure I'm I'm making those responsible choices so that you know when my kids come to me and say I need contacts which is a necessity um, that I can do that and so um, that's kind of where I was really heading with the responsibility it's just it's just like everything just kind of hit this last couple of days with responsibility for finances responsibilities for personal responsibility you know with kids and so um, I just that's kind of where my topic came from and I was like wow I could spin this just about any way you want because <laughs> I think I've hit it all this week so with that I'll go back to you Yvette yeah no that was great Becky you brought up some really some key points um, what you were t you know teaching your children about the choices and the consequences and you know about the the outcomes right mm -hmm. and really just thinking ahead instead of you know practicing delayed gratification something that um, I am starting to practice now I, I will tell you my teen years my twenties even my thirties um, you would never hear me say delayed gratification because I just you know me as well as most of society just has that you know we want it yesterday and we don't really think about the consequences of, you know, if we go below $500 here, uh, then we really have no stash anymore in case there is an emergency. And that can be pretty serious, especially if you do have a family. I would say maybe not so detrimental if you're single, but if you do have a family and you have, you're responsible for others, not just yourself, um, yeah, there can be some pretty you know dire straits as far as you know what else is going to come down the pipeline that is unexpected and is really really going to dig you a deeper hole so I'm actually going to bring on Miss Jamie Sanders out in, in Joshua Tree California and hopefully she can hang out with us she, she's having some um, technical difficulties so go ahead and take it away Jamie Okay, thank you, Yvette. Um, I think that um, when I heard the topic, um, taking personal and financial responsibility, it all boils down to two things, and that's budget and self-discipline. And um, really, if you don't create a budget, you can't really get very far with um, your money. You have to create a budget to have something to have a foundation. And you have to have the self-discipline to maintain that budget. So um, a budget you have to create um, realistically for yourself. And everyone's situation is so different. And you have to be flexible with your budget because situations change. Things change. We have gone from military getting paid every 1st and 15th to salary from the school district getting paid once a month to my husband's current job that's getting paid every two weeks and you have to make those adjustments and reassess every time changes occur in your life. Um, like Becky mentioned, of course, taking um, right off the top of that, the 10%, putting that away, putting that in your savings, um, taking responsibility, putting that away, and and keep holding yourself responsible to keep doing that. Um, 
and then adding up your bills and knowing the difference at the end of um, at the end of your bills and at the end of what you've put away in savings, determining between what's a need and what's a want. And um, if you've got so many things that you really are just seeing as wants, maybe you can put a little bit more money away that month and think, um, you know, that could be something I could get in the future once I'm a little bit more established rather than right now. Because it is just something I want. It's not something that I need. And to have a great established um, savings account um, and be out of debt, would, um, which is all about the financial empowerment that we talk about um, through Gen 310, and having all of that, um, having that resource there when something does go wrong because it's bound to happen, the washer is bound to break, the refrigerator, all your food goes bad, something, you know, always comes up. So it's always great to have that backup there for you. So I think that's all I had to um, share tonight on the topic. No, that's that's really cool. Uh, and, you know, you, you said something there, and that was anytime there's some sort of a change, you know, that you should take the time to reassess. Um, you know, do you need to tweak something over here, tweak something over here? Um, because, you know, you... It's a change, right? And even reading that book, Who Moved My Cheese by Dr. Um, Spencer Johnson is what I'm thinking. Uh, you know, really being open to change and not being so attached to change. So when something does happen in your life, if something, if there is a, a change, like a job change or uh, some sort of a financial change or even a personal change, like if there is um, you know a loss in the family or whatever whatever would affect your finances you need to be able to bounce back quickly and I think that really comes about really plugging into personal development because that's what I've learned over the past year now and really in just the past four to five months that you have to continue to grow and to educate yourself and just become better personally and financially and what's cool about it is there's no guesswork right we we recommend books every time we're on these handouts things that you can start plugging into not just once many times and reading these materials like the richest man in Babylon uh, another one is you know think and grow rich which um, is by Napoleon Hill this is a classic uh, another good one is The Science of Getting Rich by, um, I think it's Wallace D. Waddles. And, you know, the Robert Kiyosaki series, um, Cash Flow Quadrant. Um, I think it's Rich Dad, Poor Dad. All of these books, um, Jonathan Livingston Siegel, these are equipping you to be able to bounce back quickly when things happen and teach you the principles, you know, what we talk about, putting aside the 10 to 20%, paying yourself first, like what Jamie pointed out. You pay, you put that away first, right? You work hard for that, for that money. Why wouldn't you pay yourself first? I had never thought of that before until I read this book and we started plugging into these handouts. And don't you think it makes perfect sense? So if you're not doing that, start doing it tomorrow. Start applying these principles. Plug into that book and you know read it from cover to cover and then go back and read it again and highlight it because there is a plan in there that if you are in debt right now work that plan and you know so it's always you know recommended that you plug into some sort of a system right systems work well we do have a systematic program through this gen 310 and so another thing too is the cool thing about this it's not just about the education that you get through this club but also have the opportunity to plug into multiple income streams. 
And this is something that hasn't been rolled out yet to the members, but it is coming. I promise you that at some point in time, you'll have opportunity to start earning income from several different income streams where it's like the icing on the cake being a member of this club. You know, right now what we say is get educated, start practicing these habits, these financial habits to get yourself in place now. So when you do start earning these extra income, you know, from these extra income streams, you, you are going to be able to keep this money. You're going to be able to start investing in properties and investing in other people, investing in stocks and bonds, and really being able to make your money grow for you. So that's what it's all about. And coming on these handouts is just an opportunity for like-minded people to come together and be able to help each other as a team. So we're not all doing this alone, and you can kind of think of it as like a round table, and we are masterminding. And there's nothing more cool than that, than being able to have you know, business partners like this, people who we're all striving for the same things, we're all plugging into the same books, and you know, in the end, what we're really truly doing with this is we are building generational wealth. So with that said, I'm just going to go ahead and um, you know close out for this evening. We didn't want to keep it too long. And I just want to check with Becky and with Jamie and see if they have any closing thoughts. Becky? Um, I actually have one. So um, in the previous handouts, we've talked about my journey and my weight loss and changing ha my habits and eating healthier and how that impacted my kids. Think about it from this the aspect if we're practicing responsibility and we are you know showing our kids and teaching our kids and showing them how to save money and stuff they're going to also change their habits and do that because my kids certainly change their eating habits for the better and my son who's um, in the process of getting a job and taking on helping make a car payment um, you know I've, I'm getting ready to sit down with him and start talking to him about budgeting and setting money aside and doing all that so um, it's something that you know we talk about generational and so that's something that we can pass down to our generations to help them because if we can teach them good habits then they're going to turn in turn do good habits too so think of it from that perspective as well well said Becky definitely that is I mean you are basically your role, the role model for your children, and that's something that I've always strived for is to be a role model to my children. I think that's where it start should start is in the home. So thank you for sharing that. And Jamie popped off again, so we'll give her a minute here and see if she pops back in again. But uh, you know what I would say, you know, this evening, if you are tuning into this and you're liking what you're hearing and you've been a member with Gen 310 for a while and kind of you know maybe haven't really been plugging into all the books is go back and revisit you know log on to your back office and kind of just familiarize yourself again um, you know read the vision and, and values um, that are on our, our web page for Gen 310 and really just start plugging into the richest man in Babylon. Um, who moved my cheese? You know, Jonathan Livingston Siegel, that's all about taking flight, about kind of separating yourself from the crowd, you know, doing what you're passionate about, what you're excited about, not worrying about what other people think. And that's kind of where I think the change starts, really just kind of getting outside of your box, um, outside of the box of, you know, what society thinks that you should be doing and um, know that you know we're all individuals and we're all different we all have different talents and so really just focusing on that and celebrating that and so I am gonna go ahead and close out um, Jamie may just uh, her phone may have just given up on her for the evening so I'm hoping that we'll be able to come on again um, this this week 
whether it's tomorrow evening, Thursday evening, or on Friday evening. So I will keep you posted here on our Gen 310 corporate web page or in our Facebook group. And thank you so much if you're tuning in. And if you have any questions or uh, any feedback or comments, um, feel free to post on our Gen 310 corporate page here on Google or in the Facebook group. Or you can just reach out to uh, Becky or I or Jamie at any point in time. So with that, enjoy your evening. And I look forward to you tuning in with us again, and maybe at some point in time you joining us here on the panel. We always welcome uh, new panelists, so if that's something you're interested, we would love to have you. And uh, look forward to next time. So enjoy your evening. Thank you, good night, and God bless. <laughs>